India's maritime history began a new chapter with the arrival of Vasco da Gama, who sailed from Portugal around the Cape of Good Hope in Africa to arrive at Calicut in Kerala in May 1498. Portuguese set up factories at Calicut, Cochin, Goa, Surat and other west coast ports. They also took control of important ports like Hormuz, Socotra, Aden and Malacca to effectively seize the Indian Ocean trade flow, thereby dispelling the Arab monopoly over trade in the Indian Ocean region. The Zamorans, with their capital at Calicut, a major trading port, had flourishing trade over land and through seas. The Zamorans resisted the Portuguese for over a century with the tactical acumen and valor of Kunjali Marakkars, who are credited with organizing the first naval defense of the Indian coast. Portuguese governor in Kochi, Albuquerque, seized Goa and its surrounding areas by defeating the Sultan of Bijapur in 1510. Thereafter, Goa became the headquarters of the Portuguese India. The Dutch East India Company sailed their first merchant fleet and reached India in 1595. They did not challenge the Portuguese and conquered the forts of the Malabar coast around 1661 and established Dutch Malabar to protect Ceylon from Portuguese invasion. The East India Company was founded in England on the 31st of December 1600. A ship of the company, Hector, under the command of Captain William Hawkins, arrived at Surat. Emperor Jahangir granted Captain permission for trade and also promised other trading facilities. At that time, the Portuguese were the dominant European power in India, so they did not appreciate the British arriving in India and affecting their trade. The French arrived in the Indian Ocean region in 1740 and established a strong base in Mauritius. During the 18th century, the French were the primary challengers to the British supremacy in the Indian Ocean. After a few initial French successes, the British decisively defeated the French in the Battle of Wandewash in Tamil Nadu in 1760. The British knew the importance of the seas. In addition to taking over provinces over land, they also established a naval force which protected their sea trade and also kept adversaries at bay.